Oh, Swansea did I wait for this fucking time. It'll be my greatest fucking pleasure to power you with so much shit that your club will cease to fucking exist. I've been receiving mentions for so long for me to do a Swansea video because of all the uh, un unalterated hate that I put into Swansea City's back with all the 2024 according to FIFA videos. Yes! Swansea are down! Well, I'll finally explain the reason why of all the hate. I sh shouldn't. J just look at the badge. Just imagine Swansea. I, I, I shouldn't. It's like someone killing your dad. And then you ask to yourself, hmm, why are they getting arrested? Why are they in jail getting ass raped by the big Don called Dave 16 times until his anal virginity gets blown onto the prison wall? It, it, you shouldn't be asking a situation like this. The reason and the motives behind the crime that's actually here. In, the, in, the, in my case of metaphorical reasons, that is the person killing your dad and going to prison. On this case, it's Swansea fucking existing. Point of everything here is getting Swansea... I think of a, of a rebuild, you get a little team from the lower divisions of Europe's elite divisions. And you get them to Champions League glory at some point in the whole career mode, like I did with Roma earlier that, that the last month. This time it's going to be a lot more fun though, because we're, we're in charge of Swansea. And I'm going to take them from Premier League football to the bottom of the fucking League 2. Making them the worst team in English football. And I'm still going to maintain a forfeit for this video just to keep myself motiv motivated constantly every single time. And in, if in five seasons I haven't brought Swansea to literally 24th in League 2, the worst position that you can find a team in English pyramid of football, I'm going to uh, finally show you that embarrassing video that I have of my life. And a video that not even John, one of my best and closest friends, that he doesn't even know about that. So just for you to realize the levels we're dealing with. Again, suicide worthy people. Suicide worthy. The good thing about being uh, unrebuild and trying to fuck up Swansea as much as I can is their squad is already shit and I put them in a Premier League, meaning they're gonna get constantly sexually assaulted, right? Oh, by the way, I also found this Don in the Youth Academy, uh, Pierre Vidal from France. He, he he's a professional at his position, right? And as a goalkeeper, he stands at a whopping gigantic height of four foot nine. <laughs> he's less than half of the height of the fucking goalposts. I don't care what happens to this man. I just want to see him in game try to catch a ball. <laughs> All I really want to do is just sell as much shit as we can from all the best players like Joe Perot and make the car crash meltdown of a squad in Swansea. All of you, man, anyone with good potential, good rating, you're going to anywhere else that you can have better careers. And that includes you, Mr. Jesus Joe Allen. Cross above Kyle Norton is still here. Oh yeah, the reason also that Picking Swansea in career mode just breaks the whole code and in integrity of the game. You found people like Ryan Brewster, who is now is 11, is not, he's 6'6, is 95 rated, and his release cost is $10. <laughs> All of you, get out of my fucking squad. You lot are too good to be hanging around in Swansea. You have too much talent. Get out. Matt Grimes going to Fulham. I'll bless your career. In so many ways you don't even understand. Joe Perot, Crystal Palace or Brentford. Either way, both areas have a bunch of thugs who want to steal your wallet. Uh, I'll send you to both. You choose whatever way you want to get your card, your card stolen. You want me to offer a player? A pacey winger? For my other player? Listen, you don't understand my level to this. I'm an undercover agent who came up to fuck Swansea in its entirety. So the card becomes just a thin piece of dust. Left by Thanos' gloves. So Oliver, you're going to Darmstadt. Hopefully you learn some German. Josh Ginelli got arguably the best end of the stick because he's going to Cincinnati to get fat in America. And so does Nathan Wood going to Philadelphia Union. Let's go keep out of the way so Pierre Vidal can actually start for us. We're cleaning house, boys. Alright, you three don't want to leave the, leave the fucking club, do you? Keeping on rejecting every single club, I show you without any shed of remorse. For some reason, you want to keep on leaving in Swansea, contracting venereal diseases. Alright then. Fuck. Yeah, that, that's the reason why they don't want to leave. We need to sign some players. How about... An young I'm young from Swansea Samsung. Jesus Christ, Charlie Austin is still going. <laughs> David Ball. You know what we're truly lacking in Swansea? Even more than all the knife crime, even more than just the depressing weather. Homelessness. Crystal Palace, there's only one job in your hands. Do it nicely to us. Yes! It was closer than I thought, but a win is a win. <laughs> so, sorry, a loss, a loss is a loss. I'm not, I'm not used to this form of concurrency. Ah! Ah! You had your chance, 
you, you could have just moved elsewhere, earning wages elsewhere, and now I'm going to send you to Job Center. You're unemployed. Goodbye. Same thing for Steven Bender, although because he's German, you now need another visa. Go back to your home country and learn the ways of the peasants. Plymouth, 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 Plymouth. <coughs> I evaporated the whole squad. I let it, I pretty much I let everyone go. It's pretty much the company bankrupting itself. You still managed to not score single a single time. Our goalkeeper's 55 rated. Our backup keeper doesn't know how to use his hands and has no height to even catch the ball if it goes above his head. Did expect at least five yet? Fucking hell, 3 1. What are you doing, Pep? Did I just oink? I'm gonna be an amazing football manager someday. Lewis Webb, you're only 21. You're, you're even in your hometown, probably, because you stink of fucking cheese. How about you go back to working down in your local hotel as a fucking waiter and overcharging women so they can sleep with you? Yeah, just just get out of my, get out of my sight. That's how I made Pierre Vidal the only fucking goalkeeper in the club. Fuck, no, 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 pause, 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 pause. Everton, 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 Everton. Clearly, I haven't done enough on my own end, so clearly Yates and Nelly are just too good. How about we get Charlie Austin a place to shine and get back to his Premier League feet, yeah? And also, whatever the fuck this guy Smith wants, just let him have it. Nobody wants to be here in a couple years, might as well give them a chance at a big time now. I expected zero points on the board and just to get out of the Premier League as soon as we could. This win ruins everything in my plans and to be honest, ruins my psychological mindset. It just brought in my exante. You ruined my life, Everton. 3-2. Why are we scoring goals? How the fuck we keep scoring goals? 3-0. Thank you, West Ham. Two, three nils in a row. That's the level I want to settle down. That's the pathway I want, I want to carry with my pony. No. No, no. Wolves. Wo wolves. 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 Why? Wh why? We should be allergic to scoring goals. We're scoring more than two for three matches in a row. May I remind you, our goalkeeper is a fucking midget from The Hobbit. Do I need to actually manually go through every single game and interview? No, we get a draw with Liverpool. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking done. Literally, the way we're going. Yeah, we're gonna get bottom on the Premier League, sure, because we keep on losing pretty much every single week. But we need to get bottom on every single division. I cannot see a team that scores every single week in the Prem to... To just get bottom of League 2 so easily. Remember, mind you, we have five seasons to do this. O otherwise, I need to show the internet a, p a video throwing back to my, to my fucking sh stinky past. I can't believe this. We're not even bottom of the league. We scored more than twice the goals of Luton Town. I thought this was the only challenge that I thought would be safe, would be easy. I could do whatever the fuck I want, and the result would just lie onto my feet. It's so easy to lose. And yet, we have one of the best attacks in the hole of the bottom half. We scored as many goals as Chelsea. I'm fucking done. A team that want to finish bottom cannot score twice in the Etihad. I'm guiding these people to try and be the worst Premier League team of all time. It's still not going well for us. We've got four, four shots from who? From a, who, who's, who's shot four times? These 11 should be on a fucking circus. Jerry, mate, you're clearly too good. Our attack is getting obviously amazing because of your form and your presence here. Goodbye. Same goes for you, Ginelli. I don't want to see any good attack in this place. Fuck's sake, I'm too lazy for this shit. I'm... What the fuck happened to your eyebrows? No, no, we beat Tottenham in the cup. I cannot be asked. This this team is too good. I'm trying to create a circus clown show. You're ruining my moment. We're going to the FA Cup quarterfinals. I cannot even. I'm going to. I'm going to throw this monster cannon. Oh, 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 oh. You know about the start, yeah? That I, 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 I constantly just said how much I fucking hate Swansea. They, they. They know, they know what the fuck I'm doing. That's the only explanation, bruv. They know what the fuck I'm doing. 4-4 four, four, draw! Nah, 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 nah. They know what the fuck... They know what I'm doing. They know it's me controlling this fucking clown show. They know what the fuck they're doing. So they're doing everything they can to just level things up so they can make Swansea pretty for the eyes. Dog shit cannot be polished. Just the way that Swansea cannot be good at football. <gasps> Fuck you! Fuck you, I'm done! It's season one and I'm on death! At the very least consolation, we did finish bottom. On quite a good margin for Wooten. A uh, team finishing bottom with 57 goals scored. 57 goals scored! Again, you want more proof? We scored as much as Fulham will finish 8th. I expected at least conceding 100 goals. Our only goalkeeper at the club cannot move, cannot save a shit. He can't catch malaria on a fucking jungle. He cannot catch AIDS. In Ayanapa, there's some spirit out there that that wants me to succeed at Swansea. Knowing that my objective is to fuck up Swansea as much as I can. One objective is achieved. We go we go to the championship quite easily actually. But the way 
we scored for fun in the Premier League against everything and everyone, got to an FA Cup semi-final, and would only lose to the Champions United. It is worrying. We need to do some different shit, some different shenanigans to get even closer to the bottom position in the championship. I thought this would be easy going. I thought like the derby record for 11 points in the t in 2008 would be our hours in the bag. I wouldn't have to move a fucking finger for us to get so much shit being thrown in our direction. Like the president wanting us to fucking retire. The fans chasing me around town with fucking knives and shanks. We're actually produced respectfully. We we're actually good, but uh, like we're actually good. I need to create some revolution. There there's a ghost in inside the coding of the game that knows what the fuck I'm doing with Swansea and wants to prevent it. I want to get relegated from the championship desperately. So I invited the whole Chinese Communist Party. All of them not even above 60. Most of them approaching their 30s and death. With all the ching ching ping ping signings, we can finally clear some more house again. Ganella okay, can finally release you to the wild. Go back to be a fucking wild baboon. Nathan Wood submitted a transfer request. Don't need to worry about that. You're gone. Jesus Christ, you're Ukrainian and you chose to live in Swansea. I know you want to escape the war, fam. Moving to Swansea is not any better. If anything, it's worse. So you're American and you chose to move to Swansea. You're, like these are these all have no survival instincts. It's, it must be. I swear to my own ball sack, if we don't get bottom of the championship with this fucking unit, someone down my street who's selling candy for bits of cents that is going to get murdered for no reason other than just me being angry i'm scared of the results that if they don't show i might have to stop making videos because my setup's not gonna last i'm gonna punch through everything i'm gonna mortal combat finish the whole setup that i'm looking at right now the laptop gone the mic gone the mouse gone and that fucking keyboard is gonna get swept up my fucking asshole until my until i get bleeding spots all right teams from the championship you're finding it too hard to uh con not concede goals from us or to even score goals in us how about this i put a homeless man starving for food in goal and i gave you a full-on avenue a motorway if you will to score against us please do something otherwise it's not gonna be worth my time and all my stress but in this video i'm not surprised if i go to a doctor's appointment i'm gonna have a blood vessel and blood pressure of a fucking 75 year old man i figure myself as an idealist i do believe in fairies and when i want what i want to see what i want to idealize and portray into my into the swansea city fans i want them once they leave the stadium watching the shit show they just did watching like a team like MK Don scoring six in their own stadium and having as much fun as a fucking baboon when he dies to go on a first bus back home but not to go back home to go in a river and drown themselves over there I want them to for as much pain going into their own cars and wanting to kill themselves that's what I want to portray to every single Swansea City fan to because they chose to sw support Swansea MK Don's you're having a laugh you're having a fucking laugh with me it's not funny no, no, it's not funny. Dragging this game to penalties. When I just realized this, no, wait. You know, Bruce the here in this reality, he's a 12 year old, right? In this world, he hasn't even kissed a girl yet or drank alcohol. He's not even old enough to buy GTA 5. And yet, he's 95 rated and 6'6. He's a big, chunky black man who should be raping every single person on the field, including the fans and the stewards. Only one goal scored by him, and Sheffield United hasn't even come up from the championship. They're still there. They're still there with Brewster. I found even a more disaster case than Swansea themselves, and I, I didn't even think it was possible. Jesus Christ, he's a fucking ant, bro. West Brom, I hate you. West Brom, I fucking hate you. I'm liking this. Please maintain, otherwise I'm gonna have to reset this all over. At this point, only about 20% of Swansea fans are depressed. I want 100, never mind that, 120%. I want people outside of Swansea to be depressed for us. I did some calls with the assistant manager and spoiling director. Hopefully, the rating of players should change a bit as time goes on. Most of these men are in the late 20s, early 30s, or mid 30s. They're all going to die really soon. The ratings are already going to drop no matter what I do. But hopefully, hopefully, it starts a trend now that I have to make some calls and start providing the players with a dieting method that normally a crazy person would do, which is eating lead and a great amount of lead. We're going to see some changes, positive changes for the environment of the ratings. <laughs> Yeah, people, I've done a poo-poo. Whatever call I gave to 
the system manager anything to rely on the player's diet to trick them into actually drinking chemicals that will make you instantly die. It made them into Superman. It made Bebe, the homeless man, become Bebe, the super homeless man on steroids. What the fuck happened? Mistakes are considerably be made. I want to break something. Starting with my head. Further consideration, finally getting Bebe through the surgery that we needed him to go. We need him to go. We just need him to go. He doesn't offer us shit. He's just always playing well, scoring goals, and was Superman for about five minutes. I don't need that. Get fucking released. Abdullah's also getting released, mainly because of that fucking stupid haircut. Aim is to finish bottom people. Uh, oh, fuck. Fuck's sake. Boom goes the dynamite. We're relegated. Sure, it wasn't bottom. Another objective is a T. Is a, a, a T. Oh, fuck. It's achieved. We're two for two. It's just the reason that for 24 points in the championship, it should be enough to finish bottom. But Barnsley getting 19. Fucks everything. Oh, nearly. Because I said that within five seasons, we should, we should be able to get Swansea to finish bottom of League 2. We're on a perfect streak from now on. Let this carry on. Let's be an Instagram hole and let all the balls come in, in like we're contracting gonorrhea. Being in League 1 is simply the best. Also found this gentleman in our backyard, i.e. the Youth Academy, Mateus Krupa. Can you find the outlier on why is he different from everyone else? Yes, he's Polish. He's the victim of our big hero Adolf. Although he does have 99 jumping, 99 stamina, 99 strength, 99 long shots, 99 shot power, and a rating like that. And he's in the youth academy at the age of 36. Hey, Michael Jackson, but he'll touch kids. With everything going through at this moment in time, this should be a fucking breeze to get bottom of the league in League One. But honestly, Swansea be giving me too much hope of a positive return to the championship. Uh, we did get sacked and and. They didn't really finish bottom of the championship thanks to some fucking Barnsley. Look at these moms thinking I'm actually going to renew their fucking contracts. Bruv, you're Chinese. You're supposed to be appreciative that you actually have a wage to live in a different country. A country that making clothes for slave branded companies like Zara is actually illegal. Because in a different life, Li Peng would be knitting leather jackets for the rest of his fucking life. Big Chucker, we're arguably the richest League One club that ever set foot to this division. So we're going to find some jewels. Some hidden gems. <laughs> hey, Kendy. I, I, I like your face. Hey, baby. Hey, hey, baby. How's free agency? It's nothing like it used to. Oh, wait. Yeah, it is. Homelessness. <laughs> ah I ordered for a Pokemon who was black so I can racially insult him. And I got this. I wanted someone black, not Justin fucking Timberlake. What you gonna do with other meat? Get your book here, Sal, GDBT. With all those new signings, we can actually start releasing some of the best players. So who are our best players? Um, Oh, Blackmon. <laughs> yeah, bruv, this is awkward. I swear I released Abdullah many moons ago. I won't hurt to do it again. Exeter understands the mission. Oxford clearly doesn't. Lincoln. <laughs> Apart from the stupid mistakes that led to our wins on those stupid games, it actually seems alright. No, it doesn't. We're so far away from bottom. It's only three points, but we've, we've been playing out of our fucking skin. We, we need to find a different way out of this. Alright, give me half an hour, and I'll come back with some sciencey things and inventive shit. On 13? Oh, right. And she's 11, you nonce. You man, my experiment has failed. Everyone cancel the fucking researches. <laughs> it wasn't meant to do this. Why do I keep just benefiting Swansea out of shit that I did? It shouldn't be this good. <laughs> Fuck. So I need to go back to the lab to do more sciencey shit. And she's 11, you nonce. Yeah, this should be enough. My fucking piece of research got the evidence and the chemicals and the molecules together and made such perfection. For you that didn't really Really know the science behind all this thing happening right now. Uh, I actually broke a bottle into a shank, just like my name says, the name of the manager, and I shanked the, the FA administrator, so uh, because I shanked him, we, we got deducted to zero points. So we need to start the season all the way from scratch. It's not like this benefits me in any sh way, shape, or form. I'm very sad. I'm very intimidated and very threatened by this piece of re by, by this piece, piece of news. I'm devastated, in fact. W why am I smiling, you wonder? No, I'm not smiling. I'm just uh, happily... You. Fuck you, Swansea. That's a second termination in two years. I am the right man of the job. I, I know how to bring this club together to create something so bad and so shit 
that you're going to be marked forever as the team that did the impossible to get relegated four times in a row and finish bottom of the fucking league too. You had your chance. You had the determination. You had everything in your powers to keep me with entertained. Psych! You cannot get rid of me! You cannot get- I'm not going anywhere! We just produced the worst League One season in football history. Let's round of applause. Round of fucking applause! If it had to be done, it wasn't gonna be Stockport or Wrexham, it had to be Swansea City. Oh, but you seen that? 8 wins, 6 draws, 32 losses, 9, nine points. Nine, nine point. Again, because I stabbed someone, points deducted. Did I get sacked? Yes. Did I get hired back? Yeah, also yes. It, it doesn't fucking matter. It, it's still part of the fucking secrecy. Point being, we're way ahead of schedule. We have two seasons now just to finish bottom of League 2. Simple as that. As simple as that. You man are looking delicious. And awful. Cross about Charlie Austin is still there. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck happened to you? I'm not even 36. It doesn't explain stuff like this. Once in a far, far away land, this man used to score goals in the Premier League for cute Queen's Kings Park Rangers. Can't really run anymore. Doesn't know how to tackle. Doesn't really know how to do anything. <laughs> even A Bong Young can still run quite a bit, not a mile. But it can run like fucking what 10 meters. I know Cooper has six times less pace than Charlie Austin. With that physical, put him in a fucking boxing canvas. Cooper is demolishing Charlie Austin like Charlie Austin is a fucking nun. Charlie Austin is just a fucking six year old child. Oh, we, we have no reserves anymore. <laughs> there needs to be a finale where Pierre Vidal is seen trying to defend a shot all the four foot nine of him he's running for details and stats josh thomas scored 13 goals impressive on the speculation that i don't even know how many strikers we have on the team and whoever was the goalie that conceded to charlie austin please do commit suicide right now i was just browsing for the final season with swansea trying to bring them to the bottom of league two can you tell me who the fuck is responsible to bringing smith and also whatever the fuck this guy smith wants just let him have and adnan yanazai to this team they're too good they're way too good but who the fuck decided that adnan yanazai was a good idea do they not understand our mission and what we're doing here as a football institution this needs immediate reaction yanazai needs to go blood Perfect idea. Browse through the drost of League 2 and swap him with someone worse. Ruben Koch, he's 19, he's, he has grey hair, he's 56 rated. And from Julian, Ruben Koch and Julian, is there a better partnership? Yenazai one way. Ruben Koch, he actually has grey hair, fuck you know. Who the f what god decide that a black man should have that haircut? Oh no, I realise this people, um, Li Peng left the club. If I were to be blind, it would clearly be the same person. That's Li Peng with a different eyeshadow. I know Li Peng. He might be Chinese. He's one of the good Chinese. He's the type of Chinese that will get you on the market to buy a, a new Patagonia jacket and sell that to you for about $20. The thing I'm most glad about in this world is that we're going to finish the season with Charlie Austin. And this decline of Charlie Austin's mental health career marriage proposal we're gonna guess it was all organic he reached one pace and six defending organically he reached his rating of 45 shooting and 42 physical starting the game with 70 odd rating organically I didn't touch him I didn't do shit he became that on his own we had to close it in this career mode with with a stellar signing damien nick 50 million we we definitely have paid for him because his release clause was 500,000. uh damien nick Federal, just move over we need more minorities in this scenario just the one season to get bottom of lee two and all of our wishes will be granted we have to now understand that we're not dealing with other professional clubs anymore we're dealing with the debt of the drost in english football stockport county cannot beat us and i believe that because it, it, it's stockport county a team with county or town following their name it just shows you that they're poor they don't have money to even invest on beating the worst team in the fucking land apart from Accrington stanley they they they, they just got amongst men. Northampton could have been the only team to lose to Swansea twice in a row. Thank fuck that reality doesn't exist. Grimsby! We're getting too many points. We're, we're not bottom. I know we're not bottom. 3 September, where the fuck we at? Where the fuck we at? 23rd.
We're close. We're close. We're, close. We're scoring too many goals, though. We're still ahead of Mansfield Town by four points. Mansfield Town needed 10 games to still not register a win. We're not dealing with peasants anymore. We're dealing with homeless children and the fucking mentally disabled, physically disabled, people that cannot get a job, not because they don't want to. People that, that can't get a job because of the way they were born, because of God giving them a reminder that you were chosen to fuck yourself. You were chosen to give this world a bad time. People that give you sympathy is just for pity, just for them to not realize that them themselves are bad people because they chose you to have pity on. That's what we're dealing with. Swansea are not a Premier League team anymore. We're dealing here with people that don't know how to read, with people that reach to 40 years of age not knowing how to count. There's a day that they know how, that they learn all of a sudden how to count to five. They will see that as discovering the cure for cancer. Something needs to be done. This quad might be still way too overpowered for even Lee to standard. Ian Smith, one goal, three assists. Have, have you not learned this is too much for Swansea? Without a single goal scored. I'm sorry. You have no space on this team anymore. Goodbye. And Damien, uh, I'm keeping a very cool eye on you. Not because your name and your race do not congregate at all. It's because three goals in 12 matches. That's one goal every four games. I don't want to risk the bottom place of League 2 because some guy from Switzerland, some wonder kid from Switzerland, came in from Zurich Grasshopper and decided, oh, oh, wait, don't we play good in this team? I thought we were supposed to play our best. I thought we were supposed to be the best that we can be. No, no, you deserve, you, you, you have to be shit. Oh, oh, Josh Thomas, four goals in 11 games, more than one goal per three games. Okay, okay, that. Uh, it's happening. And my dream is coming true. I fucked Swansea. Fuck you, nah, 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 nah. Carlisle. No wonder I did a video on you pieces of fuck. No. What? Why? I know it's the vegans, but why? Why? What the fuck? We're dealing with illiterates. I know. Three wins in a row. I'm done. I'm done. No, no. I'm, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. What the fuck has happened? What has happened? What have I done? 19th. We're actually 19th. We wouldn't even get relegated to the conference. Okay, okay, okay. Mansfield Town actually improved. <laughs> so that that's better on our eyes. So we're only four points away from the bottom. We need to strike a comeback out of this world so we can have any chance of finishing bottom. It's the it's the good thing that most of the bottom half teams are actually improving by the minute. But three wins in December, this shouldn't be happening. The problem is with scouting, it, it's difficult because all of these players are attackers and they're too good. 55 rating and being young is too good for our standards. We cannot be allowing this to happen. They have potential. They they got energy and they think that football is supposed to be a game where you play and win. This is not the mentality I want to install. Hey, we've been rolling around China too much. We need to find a poorer place to be. And where else to find poor people that don't know how to read and don't know how to kick a ball than the Indian Super League. Yep, they're all good. They're actually all good. So I found these two men on the Dross League 2 that I was always talking to you about. Morgan Hyde and Sam Moss around the low 50s, which is not ideal. I still want to find worse candidates for this shit, but it's impossible. You cannot find 40 rated players unless they're in the youth academy setup, which you cannot sign players from the youth academy. The only way to actually walk through this is to offer the best players that we currently have. Player swap, strikers, Josh Thomas, a million pound on market value. That's too much. He has too many goals this season. He needs to go. It's either Cameron Congreve or Alberto Orozco. And if I want to go down with this ship, let it go down just the way that all of the European ancestors came through to the Americas to colonize and steal everything with all the minorities inside. Cameron Congreve, you need to go. Best option I could, fi I could find was Jack Molden, 37 years old, but already looking like he can have three grandchildren. He's the best bet. He's gonna decrease even more entering Charlie Austin territory. I mean, not really because he still has 78 pace. A total of 78 times the pace of Charlie Austin. When God designed the world as the way it should be, he also always has to put a portal to the end of the world, to the fucking hell that descends on Earth about once every single time the, the red moon shows up in the sky. And that portal is located in Swansea city center. And with the sale of Damien, I broke the game because the transfer hub denies entry he, he, the, the transfer hub button doesn't want to leave yeah, I actually broke the game even the transfer shows the transfer hub that's what happens when you do a game with the powers of Swansea
Newport don't repeat the same mistakes. They don't repeat the same mistakes! Yes! Five defeats in February! Show me the table! Show me the table! Bottom of the league! It's still on goal difference, but because Mansfield has actually known how to defend, we're, we're bottom of the league coming to March. It's too close for comfort though. Mansfield are right above us. We need to hold a gap. We need to start getting a gap on bottom spot. It's almost happening. The celebrations are, are running through the Swansea boardroom. All the fans and all the staff are going to kill themselves. It's happening. Keep them coming. Keep them coming, boys. Fuck you, Stockport. Fuck you, Stockport. Always, it always is Stockport. Two wins in a month is not good. It is not good. It's not good. We're above Mansfield. Shit, we're coming to the final streak of matches. One point above Mansfield. Do we face Mansfield at some point? We're facing Mansfield on the final day of the season. It's destined to be. It's destined to be. It's the final game of the season. Oh my god. It's perfect. It's, it's, it, it's what's written in the fucking stars of hell. They knew who we were fighting for. They knew our intentions. That's why they put an away trip to Mansfield. That's going to be the deciding match between the team without money and tactics and the team without a fucking head. What can I do to guarantee that we're going to see the final day of the season? Charlie Austin keeps on declining. I have to start manually simulating now. I, I think I should. We're, we're coming to the final streak of matches. I have to manually simulate. Moss needs to start ahead of uh, Abdul Salam. Hide ahead of Dong Yang Fang. And mold on ahead of Kuiway. Yes! Yes, boys! Chambers! What the fuck is going on at the top of the screen? Why is it broken like that? It's because it's Swansea. Fuck sake. No, 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 not not terminated again. Not terminated again. No. I, I was right there. It was literally right there. Why? Why now? We had Mansfield at the final day of the season. It was, it was gonna be perfect. You man it was gonna be perfect. We're about to do this. Psych! You can't get rid of me! I'm never gonna die! I'm inbound to make this happen! This is my life's mission! Swansea, you're going to get fucked! Try and roast me! That's cute! You take more beanies than a prostitute! Oh, we was close! Thank you, Molden! Thank you, Molden! We bring the old man, and he refuses to score a hat-trick, and let Fowler in to score a hat-trick! Holy shit, this game would have been amazing. This game is amazing. Four out in this quarter is a hat trick. And Molden doesn't. We're living. We're living. This is it. This is my time. 2027, mark in your calendars. Show me the standings. Show me the standings. How is it going so far? Bottom of the league on three point difference. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. The vegans of Forest Green Rovers hate meat murder. They hate killing cows or killing pigs. But they hate Swansea more. If there's one animal they're gonna kill, they're gonna kill the swans. Boom! It might be guaranteed. That's this defeat. Please tell me Mansfield, Mansfield won. Mansfield lost. Two games left. Two games left. We lose, we get bottom of the league. We lose, we get bottom of the league. Come on. We need to lose to Doncaster. We need to lose to Doncaster. It's happening, boys. Doncaster, don't let me down. Don't let me down. Yes! Yes! 4-1! We get bottom of the league in League 2. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! And Mansfield won! And Mansfield win! Show the standings! Show the standings! 32 points to 38. We get bottom of week two. We're the worst team in England. After all the fight, after all the hardship and loss, after all the games we shouldn't win, but we did. After all the three nil wins that Swansea should never even come close to doing. After all the trophies, we went so far ahead and fell on the final hurdle. The objective is complete. Bottom of the Premier League, relegated in the Championship, relegated in League One in consecutive years. Bottom of the league in the E2. We officially do the unthinkable. We bankrupt Swansea. We kill Swansea Football Club. And now we get to go to Mansfield to have our fun and our last supper before the club gets on administration and gets bankrupt and gets liquidated. And it's formed into a fucking black hole suspended in the Swansea city center sky. We get terminated again. Doesn't matter. The job is complete. Fuck you, the board of administration, fuck you for sucking us so many times. That's what you get. But guess what? I'm back! I'm back! Play our final match against Mansfield. We're gonna and now we have nothing to play for. We can we can play it as our heart desire.
the match to the final ages, come on. And it's laggy as fuck. It's like a microwave in here. I'm getting baked at the same time as I'm playing a game of football. Look at them running. Oh, fucking hell. I gave them so- Look at this, look at this! I gave them superpowers, oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god! This needs to be at least a 10 nil. Mansell need to be at least a 10 nil. 10 nil goes ahead and why are they showing their legs? And just for scale, I'm gonna do this. Ultimate competitor mode on CPU sliders. Let them roll in, boys! Mansell would have done such a great job denying Swansea of not finishing bottom, of Mansfield not finishing bottom, that I'm gonna give them superpowers. Poor Vidal, he can't even do a proper touch in together. Look at that, he's, he's being chased by a man twice his size, and he lost <laughs> to throw into them! Oh. Vidal doesn't know how to kick the ball away. I wanna see headers. I want. I wanna see him try to defend the header. Show Pierre Vidal his boss. I mean, you're supposed to head the ball, Mansfield. Orozco tried to run away, but they're twice as fast. They're three times as fast. They're dry humping them with all the powers in the world. And they're gang banging. They're gang banging. They're free in the box. Vidal, Vidal dives the wrong way. The pure entertainment of Wii 2 at its very best. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> When they start running with the ball, the flash kicks into his legs. He gets the ball and bang. He's, he's already off every single defender, even the fans, even the fucking linesman. The linesman can't even keep with him. Yeah, I, I went to press settings and I think I broke the game again. Can we, can we... I'm trying to lead the game. I'm trying to simulate the rest. I, I, think, I think it's enough to wrap up, people. I I scream too much and I'm gonna get evicted because of all of my hatred to Swansea. But you know what? It's worth it.